Okay, so again, the physiology of this is not an external pressure on the bladder, it's the bladder itself contracting. So it's the, uh, the behavior of the bladder that, that is going on there. What kind of things cause that? A weak bladder plus a weak pelvic floor is what the primary thing that causes it and the things that lead to it are a lot of the same things as, as stress incontinence but for different reasons. But pregnancy, vaginal delivery, hysterectomy, obesity, neurologic diseases. So people who've had a stroke, people who have Parkinson's, people who have MS, they are going to have worsening problems because the nerves are now involved and so the bladder is going to go back to its reflex because the brain cannot communicate with the bladder the way that it used to. Um, anxiety. I have people who are very type A and very anxious are more likely to have overactive bladder. Caffeine is a big one. I drink like three Red Bulls a day, so I have to admit I have an overactive bladder, but I will admit it's self-induced. It's my fault, okay? It's not my bladder's fault. If you drink three Red Bulls, you're gonna go a lot. Um, nicotine, chocolate's a big trigger. Urinary tract infections, anybody who has a urinary tract infection, you know you have to go more often, but then the bladder's now irritated, now you've triggered the overactive bladder symptoms again.